barely saw you there. Can I help you? Wait, where are my manners? Katina Barana, daughter to Consul Onaria. Former Consul, I should say. She passed recently. I'm rambling. Sorry. My head, it's just... I haven't been sleeping well. Honestly? No. Far from it. I find myself plagued by unsettling dreams. Every night since my mother died, my mind returns to this place. I see a man scribbling a letter. I hold my mother's necklace out to him. His eyes turn to me. Then I wake. I... I don't know. I just can't shake the feeling that my mother has unfinished business in the Citadel. Something to do with her necklace and that man. Perhaps you could take the necklace inside for me? It's the key to this mystery. I know it. I can't tell you how grateful I am for your assistance. A woman in my position can't afford to fall asleep at state dinners. And my mother. She should be resting peacefully in Aetherius. Not calling out for help from beyond the grave. It's an Imperial War College called the Topol Legionary Academy. Or it was, at any rate. Now the locals call it the Forsaken Citadel. Some of the Empire's greatest tacticians studied and taught here. My mother among them. The flu. The Nahatan flu held this region in a vice grip for years, killing Khajiit by the thousands. According to my mother, the Commandant locked the Academy gates and refused to let anyone in or out. But walls keep out soldiers, not plagues. Truthfully, no one knows. The gates never reopened, and Mother refused to speak about it. I can tell you this, though. Someone or something still patrols those halls. People say you can hear groans and howls at all hours. The undead, I fear. I can never recall the beginnings, but they always end the same. I'm standing outside the Citadel, just as we are now. Suddenly, I'm inside. I walk down a dank hallway that opens into a larger chamber. Then, I spot him at his writing desk. The man. Hmm. Wary? Troubled, certainly. Consumed by some secret resentment. I approach to get a better look at him. His hand drifts to a stop. Without even thinking about it, I hold out my mother's necklace. Urging him to take it, I suppose. No. His eyes flick upward to look at me. Tired, reddening eyes. Much like mine, in fact. We stare at each other for a moment. Then I wake in a cold sweat. I know it sounds simple, but there's an anguish there I can't even begin to describe. I am. Following in my mother's footsteps, I suppose. Or trying, at any rate. As I said before, she served as a consul before she passed. Tending to the concerns of Imperial citizens and breaking bread with the Khajiiti counselors in Sencho. She began her career as a legionary, believe it or not. She even taught here for a time. I suppose she just softened with age. Honestly, my mother rarely spoke of the time she spent here. I always got the sense she preferred to leave it in the past. Only at the end. She drifted in and out during her final days. In one of her last lucid moments, she placed the necklace in my hand and whispered, Forgive. I thought she was asking for my forgiveness. Now I'm not so sure.
these halls. Once proud, now will please help me make things right. Seek out the library. A letter from my beloved rests upon a writing desk. My atonement begins there. Have you come to plunder what remains of our academy? It matters little. Whatever indignities you plan to visit upon these halls will pale against the curse I put on them. I am Jano Invel, Imperial Battle Mage and Spellcraft Instructor. And yes, I wrote that letter. What is this about? After 20 years of imprisonment, I won't suffer idle conversation. Speak plainly or leave. Garana? By the eight. Yes. I recognize both the name and the locket. That piece of jewelry was to serve as the focus for a soul warding spell. We meant to use it to keep us safe from the flu. But then Honoria left, taking the necklace with her. I hesitate to hope, but yes. Yes, perhaps it could. After Honoria left with the locket, I attempted to craft new focuses, totems made of Honoria's treasured objects. All three attempts failed, and the result... Well, look around. That locket should guide you to other totems bound to the same spell. You must destroy those corrupted totems. They bind our souls to the failed warding ritual. Once they're destroyed, return to me with the locket. Then I can mend what's broken. You will think less of me for having used it. The ritual binds souls, much like a soul gem. Unlike a soul gem, it also binds flesh. So long as the focus of the ritual remains intact, the bodies and souls of those touched by the spell remain as well. Spells that affect the soul always carry risk. My love, my partner, Honoria, Seemed certain that the locket would serve as a potent focus. I gave it to her, you see. It belonged to my mother, and her mother, and so on. It carries emotional potency. The warding ritual relies upon strong bonds, bonds between people. Our fondness for one another, and our shared relationship with the locket made it the perfect focus. But then, she left. Yes, a totem of comparable value. I tried to use items precious to her, things she'd abandon, but none of the items carried the necklace's weight. The bonds proved too weak. Each time I cast the ritual, the curse grew more severe. Not immediately. One by one, they fell to the flu. The spell proved too weak to protect their flesh, but too strong to let it pass. Now their souls and corpses remain, tortured. She had doubts, certainly. We all did. But at a certain point, it seems she lost faith in the ritual completely. I was furious at first. I even called for her to be arrested on charges of desertion. Or would have, had I sent that letter. No great surprise there. That was the longest, most agonizing night of my life. I never sent the letter, though. I didn't have the heart to. 
The warding spell makes them nearly impossible to break through conventional means. But the presence of the locket will make the spell unstable. Hold the necklace near the totem, and it should collapse into arcane vapor. This is spellcraft, not mathematics. Should is the best a battle mage can offer in terms of assurances. I can still do this with or without Honoria. I just need objects she treasured. She polished this sword once a fortnight. It will work. It has to. He worked so hard, but he forgot a critical point. The item had to bind us together. The two of us. Gods, I am so sorry, Jeno.
always valued your privacy, Honoria. Maybe this will be enough. Your worries, your joys, your secret desires. Another legionary fell ill today. It has to be enough. Noria and her damn toys. Did you clutch this as a child? I... I have to try. Damn you for leaving me, Honoria. Damn you! I sewed that doll with my own hands. A gift for our child. For Jano's child. He never suspected that I bore his daughter in my womb. Too busy. Always too busy. The ritual. The soul binding. I couldn't risk the life of our child on a spell like that. So I left. Damn my cowardice. I left without saying goodbye. But now, we can make things right. Do you have any questions before we try this? Thank the Eight you're back. Did you destroy all three totems? I pray you did. I already feel the binding ward loosening. If we dispel the magics on the locket, our souls should find peace at last. Drop the locket into the flame. My grip on the Mundus is weak at best, but I managed to conjure this fire while you were away. It should burn away any arcane energy still clinging to the necklace. Once those magics dissipate, Aetherius awaits. She knows what breaking the curse requires. Whatever happens, I trust she's prepared. Place the locket in the flame, my friend. Please. chooses her allies well. That's my clever girl. Finally, our spirits can rest. Finally. Now, I try to reconcile with the man I betrayed. I will try to contact Katina one last time before we drift to Aetherius. But if I can't, tell her I love her. More than anything. I'm sorry I caused her such distress. Tell her the truth. Her father wanted to save everyone despite the risks. I want to keep her safe. Jano and I both made mistakes. 
pride and stubbornness, cowardice and heartache. But now, we can make things right. We can find peace. Flesh always proves sluggish and stubborn. These corpses may wander these halls for a while longer, but I assure you, their souls are free of the curse and will find their way to Aetherius very soon. I'm sorry I left you when you needed me, my love. It was cowardly. But there's something I must tell you. The reason I fled. What possible reason could you have? We could have saved these people, Honoria. Why? Why did you leave me? Come with me, Jano. Let me show you before we fade away. Thank the Eight. You're back. What did you discover? Is my mother's soul at rest? What a relief. On both counts, did you discover the cause of her distress? What troubled her? And that spell became a curse. The curse that's afflicted the Academy these 20 years. Of course. But I don't understand. Why would Mother leave this man in his hour of need? The woman I knew would never abandon a friend. My father? But how? I'll need some time to process all this. I can't believe she bore the weight of this all these years. In any event, thank you for helping her. I hope the two of them find a way to reconcile in Aetherius. Her and my father. I should really get some sleep, but with all that's happened, I don't know how I could manage it. Secrets from my mother's past, a father I never knew. It's a lot to take in. In any event, thank you so much for all your efforts. Eight bless you. Noria. Who is this? This is your daughter, Jano. Katina. This is why I left. The ritual posed too high a risk for an unborn child. I tried to tell you so many times, but you were so busy and a coward. Katina. I had no idea. She has your eyes, Honoria. And your stubbornness, my love. Which is why I knew she would find a way to help us. I should have told you. I'm so sorry. Thank you. Thank you for showing her to me. I... I only wish I had more time. 